Stinky breath, it can really get your attention, whether we're talking about humans or felines. We can't always tell when the smell is nice and fresh, but we can usually tell when something is rather foul. For cat owners, when it comes to health issues and complaints, outside of a bad case of fleas, sour breath is a common issue. In this material, we will run a bit of a crash course regarding the most common causes of stinky breath and what it all means for you as a loving and responsible owner. Interesting topic and hopefully quite beneficial to those looking for help and advice. I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Bad breath. Quite often as humans, it can be easy to chalk it up as something that we had for dinner, a meal. It's no secret that a lot of folks enjoy foods that can leave a bit of a linger, let's say, and not the good kind. Garlic comes to mind just offhand. I'm sure others can run through a list of similar food causes. What I am aiming at is the fact that most of the time, it's not much to think about, certainly nothing to worry about. Just brush those teeth and get on with life. And while it is true that your cat's foul-smelling breath could be due to food, as my late father would sometimes say, a bad rat, <laughs> a cat ate a bad rat, and while I do suppose that's quite possible, other facts that are much more concerning could be the cause of your pet's foul breath. When we talk about cat's uh, bad odor in felines, we have to speak about some type of dental disease, the teeth, the gums, the tongue. The entire mouth, because if it's not food, something is likely going on that deserves more than just your casual attention. Quite often, cats that suffer from perpetual foul-smelling breath are dealing with gingivitis, or in more severe cases, a disease known as stomatitis. The core difference is that gingivitis involves the inflammation of the gums, whereas stomatitis is rather all-encompassing, to some degree, impacting the entire mouth and mucous membranes. Lack of brushing, as in direct contact brushing, either at home or in the care of a professional. Coupled with an improper diet can lead to either of these two health concerns. The buildup of plaque and tartar in the body's own defense to combat the issue can in some felines result in rather significant infections. While a foul odor is very concerning and obviously very common, and the early symptom in both gingivitis and stomatitis, the latter, stomatitis, is often more physically painful. Drooling is another common symptom, the inability to chew, the lack of a desire to chew, lack of grooming, and then the discomfort itself is bad enough. Your pet could actually cry out in pain. Other symptoms of these two collective oral issues are bleeding of the gums, visual signs of inflammation and redness, lack of grooming, outward signs, like I said, the crying and the yelling out, changes in both appetite and general behavior. The good thing, and I respectfully use that word very, very loosely, is that these health concerns pose other symptoms beyond foul breath. In the big picture, that's a good thing. It allows you to take action much faster, because while it can be easy to write off bad breath on occasion, the more symptoms that are present, the faster the resolution. Because while stomatitis is more severe compared to that of gingivitis, it can be treated. And while the methods of treatment can be a bit different, because everything will be a case-by-case -case basis, the ability by you to recognize early symptoms can help immensely. Now, when we speak of other reasons that could cause foul breath, unfortunately, this is where things break down just a bit. The possibilities can be wide-ranging and have no real connection. In fact, your cat's foul breath could be caused by a condition or conditions within the body that have nothing to do with the mouth itself. For example, liver disease, kidney disease, diabetes, and cancer. They can all introduce foul-smelling breath. Having said that, there are also, as to be expected, more concerns within the mouth. It could be the culprit behind the stink, mouth ulcers, any type of sores, especially open sores, or gum infections due to injury, abscessed teeth, teething, poor diet, that cause I mentioned earlier, we can't forget it, that bad rat, I mentioned it still could be a prime possibility and just a lack of proper hygiene. The mouth, your cat's gums, the teeth, the tongue, this is yet another reason why regular checkups are so very important. Annual vet visits, because while not every Single thing requires rush, uh, the rush to urgent care. Your cat's breath is foul and has been for a while, and you know that vet checkup is right around the corner. Don't forget to talk about things with your vet. Just bring it up in conversation. There's no harm in asking. 
It's all about playing it safe. It could be nothing at all, but at least you can leave and drive home knowing that it is, in fact, nothing at all. And that peace of mind as a cat owner. It's always important moving forward and under the notion that your cat is, in fact, in good health. Keeping your cat's teeth clean is obviously very important. Diet, that wet diet, the proper diet. Cat treats that are designed for dental health. All of that is very significant. And while actual brushing, it can be a task of patience, especially if you've never done it before. Discuss the topic with your vet. Talk about the proper steps and the proper toothpaste. And if you do have the means and you just want to be hands-off in this aspect, have a professional handle your cat's brushing and other areas of dental care. It's really all about what you can afford and the best action for you and your situation. As long as you are being proactive, the rest will work itself out. There are so many basic things that go into feline care. Little things, simple things. However, those basic and simple things are more times than not the most important things. Always make sure that your cat's teeth and gums are healthy. Make sure the tongue is healthy and is not discolored. Being that we are senior cat wellness, it becomes even more important to keep an eye and a nose on your cat's mouth and breath as they age. If you've owned your cat for years, you likely know what normal looks like and smells like. If you begin to notice changes, changes that have seemed to occur almost overnight, this should never be ignored. As noted all throughout this entire topic, your cat's foul breath could be a sign of something more significant, far more concerning than simply what they had for dinner. If your cat is older and has known health conditions, especially issues that are being actively treated and monitored, always make note of any changes with regards to breath and overall mouth and dental health. These changes could require attention. In the description box below, I'll provide the link to a video on this channel that deals with the topic of your cat's teeth and how to keep them clean. If this video, this current video that you're watching, has been of interest and benefit to you, please check out the presentation concerning feline teeth and how you can care for them. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, I'll now turn things right on over to you. Does your cat deal with bad breath? Is it just diet? That bad rat? Nothing really to worry about? Or is your cat's breath? Did it reveal something more troubling? Your stories, your overall thoughts, that comment section, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.